Hi, church. Our Bible reading today takes us to Psalm 69, where no surprise here, we see David complaining about the circumstances of his life. An interesting fact about Psalm 69, other than Psalm 22, there are more verses quoted or referenced from Psalm 69 in the New Testament than any other psalm. So it's very easy for us to see its importance for us today and to gain from its reading. Now, often in his sermon, Pastor Randy will remind us at the end to look for Jesus. Where do you see Jesus in this message? And that's not a bad idea, even when we're reading the Psalms, to search for Jesus. And it's very easy to find a comparison between Jesus and David here in this Psalm. Uh, David says that his enemies hate him and are trying to destroy him. And for untrue reasons, they are charging him with crimes that he doesn't, didn't commit. And of course, Jesus definitely experienced that as well and was given the ultimate consequence for what he did not do. Jesus referenced verse four of this Psalm when he said, they hated me without a cause. In verse seven, David speaks of his zeal for the house of the Lord. And this verse was referenced in John chapter two, when Jesus drove the money changers out of the temple. Now we do see a contrast in Jesus and David as well. In verse five, David says that God knows about all of his sins. None are hidden from him. And of course, Jesus lived a sinless life. Nothing was hidden from God, but he was completely sinless. Beginning in verse 22, we begin to see a little more of David's heart toward his accusers. He asked for them to be driven out of the country. He went as far as to ask God to kill his enemies. Obviously, Jesus was a lot more forgiving with those who hurled insults at him and even those who called for his death. But David wasn't perfect, but he did eventually get it right uh, by the end of this psalm. Beginning in verse 29, we see David turning his sorrow and his seeking for vengeance into praise and worship. The psalm ends in a very triumphant tone. Verse 34 says, let heaven and earth praise him. So this psalm will take you the entire gamut of emotions that David is feeling. So I hope God adds to your understanding of this psalm, and I hope you have a blessed day. Have a great day, church.